y'all call me. Guess what I'm doing today? Well, before I let you know that, I am going to let you know that my name is Miss Jeffcoat, and I am a second grade teacher at Lexington Elementary. So if any of my little tigers are watching today, I say hello to all my little tigers, but I also want to welcome all boys and girls who are here with me today. And I'm so, so excited that I get to spend some time with y'all. So, I know that right now we're not in our classrooms and that right now Ms. Jeffcoat is coming to you either on, in your living room or you may be in your bedroom watching your tablet, but wherever you are, I hope that you'll just take a minute to come join me and let's talk a little bit about measurement, all right? So, what I always say to my students right before we get started is let's plan ourselves. We're going to get real tall and plan ourselves and let's get ready to grow in math today, okay? So, like I told you earlier, you caught me. I was over here trying to see how tall I was. And the reason I wanted to do that is because we are going to be talking about measurement today. Just a little bit, okay? So, we're going to be looking at four different units of measurement. And I've put these up here, all right? We're going to be looking at the centimeter, which is going to be the smallest unit of measurement, an inch, a foot or feet, because if we have more than one foot, it becomes feet, and then yard, all right? So, let's start with that itty bitty little unit of measurement, all right? Let's talk about a centimeter first, all right? Now, I know that um, some of you may have already kind of looked at centimeters this year, and you probably used a centimeter cube to measure centimeters, all right? This is my little centimeter cube. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I know that sometimes at home, we don't always have things that we need to measure like centimeter cubes. Miss Jeffcoat's a teacher, so she does have some centimeter cubes on hand. But if not, the perfect way you could measure something in centimeters is by using something that we all have, all right? We have little pinkies, all right? Okay? And uh, we can use our little pinky to measure centimeters, all right? So that's a tool that you can use to measure centimeters. Let's try to think about something that may be the size of a centimeter. Well, you have something right in front of you, don't you? Your little pinky nail. Can y'all think of anything else that might be the size of a centimeter? Oh, yeah, an ant. That's a great one. Anything else? I'm trying to think. An ant. Well, really, any type of bug, a ladybug. What else might be the size of a centimeter? Oh, maybe not just our fingernails, but probably our toenails, too, okay? So that is a centimeter. It's about this size, all right? Okay, and next, okay, let's uh, talk about the inch, okay? The inch is a little bit bigger than a centimeter, all right? So let's think about an inch now. I do have with me, okay, a measuring tape, all right? And we're going to look at a few different things, but if you were looking oh, at this measuring tape, okay, these little small lines that you see on this measuring tape, okay, those are the centimeters. But then you see this big number here, like here we have one two, three, four, five. Okay, those mark the inches on a measuring tape, all right? So, if you do have a measuring tape, you could use that to measure centimeters and inches. But again, you know, Miss Jeffcoat, she did have a measuring tape because Mr. Jeffcoat likes to do all kinds of things around the house where we have to measure. But if you didn't have a measuring tape, what's something else that maybe you could think about that's about the size of an inch, okay? You know what I think? I think if I take my two little fingers and I put them on the side of my nose and I look away, oh, that's about an inch. So I bet one side of your nose to the other side of your nose is about an inch apart. Why don't you try that with me? Me, me. There, we've got an inch. Another thing that I thought about was maybe the top of a bottle, a bottle cap. I went and I was watching all these other awesome math teachers around the country, and they said a bottle cap, that's about an inch. So if you wanted to measure something in inches, you could come and you could see, oh, how many inches 
You could think about a bottle, use a bottle cap, and you could also use whoop, about this much. Put your fingers on the side of your nose. So what are some things that we can measure around our house, okay, that are in inches? Anybody can y'all think of anything? Yeah, we definitely could measure ourselves, and that is a really great point to bring up, okay? When we're talking about measurement today, and we're going around our house later and we're measuring things, think about what is going to be the best unit of measurement to use, okay? Because some things, yes, like we said with an ant, centimeter would probably be a great unit of measurement, okay? But if we were also um, thinking about uh, bigger things than an ant, it may be best for the best unit of measurement to be an inch. I mean, excuse me, to be a, what a to be an inch, yes, to be an inch. Silly Miss Jeff Coat, you know, sometimes I get a little bit crazy, okay? And then also when we move on, we'll see when it might be best to use a foot to measure and a yard, okay? So again, let's think again about some things we could measure in inches. Oh, I'm looking around my little classroom in here and look what I found. A dry erase marker. Raise your hand if any of you use these in your classroom some days. I know my boys and girls love to use their dry erase boards and their dry erase markers. So yes, that's something that we could measure using inches, all right? Now, while we have this out, let's look and remember when we're measuring, and you've probably already talked about that, but I've talked about this this year. You gotta start at one side to the other side. What are these called? Does anybody remember? Oh, I hear, I think I hear lots of boys and girls in my head saying end point. So remember, when you're measuring something, you always got to start at the end point, all right? And we can use this bottle cap to get a good estimate, which is like a good guess, all right, at how long this is, okay? So, let's see. I, I might not be able to do this, but we're going to measure something a little bit later, okay? You remember, you start at one end point, and you end at the other end point, okay? All right, good deal. Now, Y'all stay with me because we're going to measure some stuff later, okay? All right, next, let's talk about feet or a foot. How long is a foot? Okay, well, one little fact you need to know is that 12 inches equals one foot. All right, say that with me. You ready? 12 inches equals one foot. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. 12 inches equals one foot. All right, wonderful. So let's look at what something is about the size of a foot. Now, again, I can take out my, my lovely little tape measure and see, this is about one foot, isn't it? 12 inches, okay, equals one foot. But I may not always have this trusty little tape measure around, so what's maybe something else I could use that is equal to a foot? Now, I don't always have to have something in my head, but what I can also envision, because remember, you never need to go to get anything to measure unless you ask the people you live with first if it's okay, all right? Is that a deal? If it's a deal, I'm gonna say deal and you're gonna say pickle. So remember, always ask the people you live with if you can borrow something to measure. Okay, I say deal and you say, Pickle, good deal. So something that I thought about, and I guess I must be doing lots of projects at home right now, because one thing I know that's in my house that is a foot long is this hammer, okay? So I'm just thinking about this hammer and it's about a foot long. But what's something else that's about a foot long that we could think about to use to estimate a measure? Well, hello, it's right there in the word, a foot. Now. I don't know about y'all because everybody in my house kind of has tiny feet, okay? But then I think about maybe your older brother or your dad or your uncle or your grandpa or maybe even some of those famous basketball players like LeBron James and Michael Jordan. They all have big feet. So they probably do have feet that are about a foot long, okay? So that's something else that you could think about, okay? To use an estimate is the size of a Big person's foot, all right? What are some things that you could measure in feet? What do y'all think? <gasps> That's right, ourselves. That's a great way. That's a great thing to measure in feet. Just like 
Miss Jeffcoat was doing earlier, okay? So look, let's just see how tall Miss Jeffcoat is and see while we're sitting here. <laughs> then you are definitely a math genius. So give yourselves a little pat on the back. Good job. And finally, our last little unit of measurement, okay, that we're gonna talk about, and it's the largest unit that we're gonna talk about today, is the yard, all right? The yard. Now, some of you may have at your house a yardstick. Miss Jeffcoat did not have a yardstick at her house. So again, three feet is going to make one yard. So let's see how long that is. I just pulled out this little trusty measure. Now I don't know if this is fitting in the frame, but this is the length of one yard. One yard. Can you think of anything at your house that may be great to show the length of one yard? Well, you know what I think of. I think of the width of a door. Think about doors that you go in and out, okay? Think about the width, okay? The width, not the height. No, no, we're talking about the width of a door, okay? That is about a yard, okay? So that would be a great way to think about if you're trying to envision about how long a yard is, the width of a door, okay? So, let's think about some things we could measure with yards. Hey, I know one of the first things that comes to mind for me. I think about the soccer field that my little girls play soccer on. And then y'all know we cannot talk about yards unless we are talking about football. That's right. Yes. Who that? Okay, I know some of you out there may not be Saints fans, but in Miss Jeff Coates' house, we are big Saints fans. So when you think about a yard, if you've ever had a chance to watch a football game on the television with the people that you live with, you hear them all the way, you hear them say, you know, and Drew Brees threw a 60-yard touchdown pass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that is what they're talking about. Those marks on the field, that is about a yard. Okay? And that is something that we could measure with a yardstick. We could measure a football field. Can y'all think of anything else? Oh, yes, your classroom. Think about your classroom that you got to spend so much time in this year with your friends. If any of your teachers ever said, okay, y'all, we got to measure this classroom, you could say, oh, I know how we could do that in the best way. We could be using a yardstick, okay? Our measurements of a yard, okay? So, Let's just real quick, one more time, go through the four units that we talked about today, okay? And we'll think of something that we could probably measure using centimeters, okay? I'm skipping, not just centimeters, using centimeters, inches, foot, and yards, okay? We did centimeters. Remember, that's our tiny little pinky we could use, okay? If we didn't have a centimeter cube, okay? Our tiny little pinky that we could use, okay? The next thing that we can measure would be measured in inches, all right? And remember, what we said is about an inch if we didn't have a measuring tape, okay? We could not only use maybe a little bottle cap, all right? But we could also think about putting our fingers on each side of our nose and then pulling them away. There's that inch to measure, okay? And then if we were going to measure a foot, all right, I thought about... The length of a hammer, that's about a foot. And then I also thought about my once some, a grown-up that I live with or a big brother or a sister, their foot. And then also my man, LeBron James. I thought about his foot. I bet his foot's pretty big, okay? 
And then finally for yards, okay, I thought about if I was walking through a door, what the width of that door would be, all right? And that's how I could measure it in yards if I didn't have a yardstick available, okay? So, think of some things that you can measure using a centimeter. What do we say? Bugs, yes, okay? measure those in centimeters. A bug would be about what? Would you say how many centimeters? Yes, two centimeters, okay? Let's think about things you can measure you using the inch. And remember we grabbed our marker, okay? And remember when you're measuring you always start at an end point. How long do y'all think this is? Real quick, let me grab my measuring tape just to give y'all a little bit of measuring this. Let me try to do this. See, I put my end point down here, and my other end point, and let's say, oh, see, the end points line up. That's about five inches. And then what about a foot? That's right. Let's measure ourselves, okay? That's how we can measure. That's a great thing to measure using feet. And then what about using the measurement of a yard? classroom, your bedroom, somewhere where you're going to maybe go into a room in your house today and see if you can measure around the edge and get to see how many yards it is around the room, okay? So my challenge to you today, my sweet friend, is to ask your grown-up if you can go around the house today and maybe if you have a whiteboard or a piece of paper, okay, maybe get your favorite marker or crayon or pen color just to make it fun and make a list of all the things you can measure and go do some measurements around your house. But always remember, remember our deal. Remember, if you decide to use something to measure, you always need to ask a grown-up, okay? So, I can't tell you how much it meant to me to spend time with each of you today. And um, I want to end today in our time together just like I end my time with all my students that I get to see every day, okay? So, Miss Jeffcoat is here today. And you're going to have an option for us to say goodbye to each other. You can either give me a virtual hug or a virtual high five. Okay, so if you're into hugs and you want a virtual hug from Miss Jeffcoat today, I'm saying goodbye to you today by get reaching out real big Ooh, and giving you a big old squeeze, a big old virtual hug, okay? And then if you like to say goodbye by giving high fives, that's awesome too. So come on, I'm putting my hands up and I'm giving you a big old high five, all right? Big old high five. I hope that um, you have a wonderful day and always remember to stay sweet, stay sharp, and stay safe.